Well, good afternoon. What? What do you mean, Matt? We don't work in the afternoons, we work in the mornings. I know, it's been one of them mornings, man. So this morning my wife comes in and says, I got a flat tar. She'd already driven like down the driveway and part of the way down the street. And, oh, it's a mess. So I had to take her car in to get that tire fixed and then found out that both her front tires were shot. So needless to say, our routine was messed up. So we were just getting out and about and I almost said, you know what, I'm just gonna stay home today and maybe break some things down and bring them to Jeff. But I was like, you know what, we'll just do an express run for the viewers. Then I get a text from Mikey. Mikey gets rear-ended today. So it's been a crappy day for everybody, it seems like. So put your thoughts out there for Mike. He's all right, but I don't think his truck fared very well. But uh, so we are out and about. We're gonna see how much we can fill up and get to the yard when it opens back up after lunch. And we gets what we gets. So uh, let's do an express run. Onward! Well, if uh, our friend Phil ran these neighborhoods, people went and put stuff out afterwards. We did get a couple of TVs from our TV guy. Got ourselves a vacuum. Talked to Kevin. Kevin had a good load today. So, we're hoping there's still some uh, morsels left. Let's keep after it. Look at this little baby water heater. We'll take her though. Oh, she's nice and full of sediment too. I can tell by how she rolls. We're gonna stand her up. Look at that, we broke a nozzle off already. If I don't bring this up here, it's gonna bang around in the trailer. I don't want that. Let's go. I'm right on top of this and I still can't tell. It is metal. Sweet. <laughs> it's like, is that wood? Is that metal? Is that wood? Is that metal? I drove by and like, it can be on the other side of my car next time I come around. And it still couldn't tell. We needed the touch test. Oh yeah, come on. We on an express run today. You guys lay down like that. Let's go. Not sure what we got here. What we got, what we got, what we got. Oh, it's a, it's a oxygen maker, I think. These have all kinds of good yummies in them. Oh, and talking about oxygen, um, that CPAP machine um, that I got yesterday. I turned it on and looked at the information on it. It had uh, a little over 3,700 clinical hours on it, which is a little on the high end, the, the, the company. When I reached out to them, they said they wanted to be under four and then realistic they want it to be under 3,000 uh, clinical hours so uh, they gave me an offer of a hundred bucks so it's a hundred bucks as long as I and they'll send and that's including them doing the shipping so they will send me uh, a postage a prepaid postage so all I have to do is send them the unit the, um, the, the reservoir for the water um, in the bag that it came in and as long as it works and I didn't lie about the hours and those kind of things they will pay me $100 so that's a nice find that actually will make up for uh, theoretically not really running today <laughs> but we got a dishwasher <laughs> and Kev put us on some meat too Kev said he is stuffed like a fat pig and he's headed to the yard 
and someone offered him a refrigerator and he doesn't have room so he told me where it's at so we're gonna head over there and hopefully unlike the unlike the, the um, washing machine from last week this guy's still there but until we get over there we won't know so that'd be a pretty sweet gig to add a fridge to the mess here and actually make something out of the morning or afternoon <laughs> let's go i know i still haven't put my gloves on yet i'm running mikey style <laughs> i'll get them on eventually guys I just haven't got to the back of the truck yet i'm just gonna slide up because i've done seen some poles i think it's one of those pool fences or i hope it is because that means it'd be aluminum We don't got time to test on the fly. As long as it's the right year, it's it's going high sense. Uh, it's not even a great one. Let's see. Come on, baby. Where's the date? 17. You are good enough to hang on to. We'll test you at the yard. Cause we're on an express run. We ain't got time to check stuff right now. Come on, bro. Open. Open Sesca me. Oh, I looked up that Mustang grill too, by the way. Um, it looks like it's a 1906 or a 19, 1906, 1966 or 1967. And if it's in really good shape, they sell for like 300 bucks. And some of them sell for like a hundred ish. Mine's seen better days. So I'm hoping to get 50 bucks out of it, but 50 bucks versus hmm, a dollar in scrap. Sounds like a good deal to me. I saw sink peeking out of this one. We got more than one or just this one? Oh, these are the kind of ones that I not want to get a hold of, but we got any more guys in here? No. Come back here, you two. You to come. Ugh. A radio flyer. Screens for the gutters and a baby grill. Better than Friday. <laughs> this is gonna probably. Be See if we can find these people. We'll pick around their pile for a little bit. See if they come out and say, hey, would you like our refrigerator? And I can say, yeah, I do. Yep, now we're just gonna go bang on the door. Ooh, you can take this wire. Come on, Kev. No.
are you? Oh, come on. Oh, yeah? I can. Thank you. In three minutes? That's fast, huh? Oh, really? That's Esther, is that your sister? Yeah. He didn't have enough room, did he? moving yeah. yeah oh that's awesome one of my buddies called did you have a fridge you wanted to go away that one okay no nah, no worries <laughs> yeah Thank you. Looky, looky, Americanos. Gonna get ourselves a pooter. How nice is that? And it's got the bits in there too. Come on, have an eye series in here. That would make up for the day. A good eye series, like an I-9. This is, looks kind of rusty. Which does not bode well for an aluminum umbrella, but right now we're not we're not being picky we'll take what we can get all right guys here's your favorite look at the size of these plushes like Matt, you should take them all this thing has stains on them i don't want no stinking cheetah with stains on it this is a rat oh it's a wolf what kind are you though wild wild republic i don't know you look pretty clean woof, woof. Uh, we might take you. We can always wash you, right? That's a big plush. Woof, get in there. I'm doing it for you guys. I'm doing this for you guys. You look a little ratty. If they look a little ratty, I got. I can't take them. I mean, you guys are killing me, man. Man, take it. Wild Republic. We might have to look these up before we leave here. Look at the size of that bear. It is almost Valentine's Day, right? People like big bears like that for Valentine's Day. And this is a squishable, maybe? Oh, he's really beat up. Look at the nastiness on that. We're not taking that for sure. All right, let's check on these ones real quick. We'll, uh, I'll be back in a minute, maybe. Yeah, let's take a little stroll. I'm gonna park right on that corner. So, back to that refrigerator. I don't know how I edited that, but I'll know now. Or I'll know by the time I get to this. This is too old. It's gonna be nice and heavy though. Oosh! Of course, we're not gonna walk the furthest. So, there was kids there. So they're definitely getting hacked out. So if that one looks a little weird, that's why. 
they don't film they don't film kids especially other people's kids so if that one seems a little awkward that's why onward looky looky americanos even with it being an express day even though we didn't get out of here until afternoon we're still gonna end with a tree today make that what a 24 25 days one of the two someplace right around in there we might make the whole month hopefully we didn't get psyched out here this is a nose metal that's can definitely 100 percent show but is this real wicker or is this faux wicker come on guys this is metal wicker nice We're just gonna slide up because there's a garage door opener over here. We're gonna go grab it. I think it actually has the aluminum aluminum rails on it. I don't know if I'm gonna have time to clean this up by the time we get to the yard. Because it might be time to go pick up rugrats. Yeah, that's definitely the aluminum looking rail, but it might not be, I don't know. Looks kind of like galvanized too. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Just not right now. Another tester, kids. Come on, where are we? Uh, come on, where are you at? 16. Who is a sharp? Hopefully, it has a sharp picture. Ha ha! This chunky monkey. <laughs> oh, this is a cover. Put you up here. Tubes. Tubes is in here. There's some boards in there, too. These, I believe. <laughs> already been taken apart some. I don't think they're going to be workers. Let's go. I wish this was in better shape. This would actually really sell well. Not in the condition it's in now. We're going to slide up there and grab that same bed thing we grabbed last week. Your whole bottom is metal. Just got a little fabric on the sides to make it look pretty. Same one. Must be the other half, I bet. Whew. Yeah, that's a whole bed. Uh, dang, strap's gonna be in the way. Guys, time to. What's the, oh my gosh, look at this. This bed even has USB ports. That's how new this bed is. That's pretty cool. So that means these wires are actually wires. I thought they were like maybe hydraulics. To get these, to get these wires. So, update on Mikey. So, I passed him earlier and told him, hey, if you need a ride, let me know, stuff like that. And, uh, He's been sitting there for four hours. 
waiting for cops to show up. How ridiculous is that? I'm like nothing like being in a hurry. So we're gonna get everybody unloaded here. We don't have much of a load today, but considering when we started, we have about an hour's worth of stuff. We did all right. So you're not gonna hear me complain. I was not gonna run at all, so I have more than that. That would have provided, right? Uh, I might take this one off before I leave. I haven't decided yet. Still don't know about this fridge. I called my washer and dryer guy because he is taking some fridges and he was humming and hung because he didn't have much space. So I'm going to take a better look at this before we leave here. Maybe send him a picture and see what he wants to do. Must have been plugged into a. Where'd the other pole go? It was just right here. Ah, oh, there it is. He must have been plugged into a. Now this is the part of the steel, the main one. Yeah, he said without stickers he won't buy them. Whoa! racetrack where they're practicing today you don't hear them often during the daytime let's check this this gotta be steel right yeah she just had to make sure I wonder what that truck's doing got stuff in there. I wonder where they're sending him with that. They don't got the torch guy over here today. The cube ain't in here. champion speedy racer oh there was a wire on there dang it That's from Mikey this morning. Remember that stuff he got from, what's it called? Michael's. Someone got a fridge in here that stinks. Nastiness. Oh, come on, babies. Work with me here.
front windows before. Now we're breaking down this goes here. That we're taking home. Um, that's it, kids. We'll see if our Mikey's her. Uh, <laughs> Jackie, Mike in the rain, Kev on the brain, all that kind of stuff. We're gonna be see you over at Jeffy's. Over there. Let's do some NFJ. Forgot to take those TVs out of the back of the car too. It's a mess in here, but I got kids to pick up. What? It's a mess back there, man. Steel unit. Yeah. Heavy? Uh, sure. You need a new bin, Jeff? Uh, need a new bin. I got it right there. Hey, uh, I'm up to 50 now. Yeah. You'll be up to, uh, my guess is you'll be up to a couple hundred by the end of the day. Can I, I, I just put you on my community post. Okay. By the way, everybody, Jeff's got his page. Go visit yeah. Jeff. Visit the card right here. Yeah. So, hopefully we can get you up there, man. Was that? The first yeah. Ones are gonna be raw. Yeah. Got some comments too. Give me clean on this. Yeah. Clean. Ready? Whew. You selling that for 30 cents a pound? Yeah. <laughs> yeah? Actually, I'll do it at cost. At cost. What's cost? 15. At 15? Yeah, it weighs 40 pounds. I thought you would like that. I, I, that's why I put that there. I, I actually used the crane to break up the, the uh, yeah. cast iron case. Huh? Yeah, I'll take it. So, like five bucks, right? Five bucks. That's not bad, right? I'll take it. Let me know. There's at least a pound of copper in there. Oh, God. There's way more than a pound of copper. There's way more. Oh, than man. Than What's that? Give that to her. Give what to her? Up, up front. Give up what up. to her? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, wait. Okay. What I have in tin, I don't even know my way. I mean, I, I didn't. I was only out for a little. Light iron. Okay. That's a 360. Okay. What is that? Uh, really? I don't know, almost a thousand pounds? Yeah. Wow. I'm shocked. I didn't get out till like 1130 today. What? Short. Oh, my short. I'll be back, guys. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, we're waiting paid. What an express day. I mean, what can you say? We were out there for a little bit over an hour. I'm not counting the time it took me to drive from my house to the hunting grounds just for my hunting aspect. Um, I'm shocked, I really am. We did uh, way better. We picked up that big old chunk of uh, electric motor from Jeff. That cost me five bucks, so he basically wiped out my uh, dirty aluminum because that's kind of uh, the same amount. He was gonna have you pay here and he's like, oh, that's about the same. Just, I'm gonna take that off your bill. So he took that off the bill. So I'm gonna break that down and see how much copper we can get out of there. So I'm just running some tests, see what we can do. I might be able to start buying some motors from the yard. And if they're easy enough to bust down like that and bust some copper out, make a couple extra bucks, might be worth it. As long as we can stay up with breaking stuff down, we did get most of our stuff broken down. I did decide to get rid of that fridge. I was gonna try to maybe sell it to my uh, washer and dryer guy, but he was questionable about space. The fruit tree was kind of questionable from a stank aspect. So I just said goodbye. 
So uh, let's see what we got today. Tin, 940 pounds, are you kidding me? I would have never thought we'd come close to 1,000 pounds, but we did. That refrigerator definitely helped. Thank you, Kevin. So uh, that six cents a pound for 5640 sealed units also came out of the refridge. 19 pounds, 13 cents a pound for 247. Irony heavy were all those uh, weed whacker things. We've got so many at the house. We are still yet to meet our uh, mower guy. So I, I'm just getting rid of stuff for now. I, I, I'm going to get murdered in my sleep if I don't start clearing out some of the backyard. So. Um, uh, irony heavy 34 pounds 15 cents a pound for 510 clean aluminum was the grill top and the ceiling fan paddles uh, 14 pounds 36 cents a pound for six or 504 electric motors were two ceiling fans I want to say I had one other motor in there but maybe we had what was the other motor come on think about it guys two ceiling fans and what was the other one I don't know, it's from someplace. <laughs> 22 pounds, 15 cents a pound for 330. For a grand total of 72.31. I'm not gonna gripe about that at all. We almost didn't run it all today. So we decided to run out and we still made 72 bucks. So that almost pays for a tire. <laughs> a tire. So uh, put your thoughts out there for Mikey. I know that he's still dealing with the with the issues. So uh, hopefully he uh, is able to uh, get things situated and get back out on the street. It does not uh, handicap him too much because we need him before we get to those million pounds. He is our uh, our anchor, uh, banking in uh, 10k a week. I'm not doing that. I just I, he's, he runs way too much for me. So uh, anywho's also card for uh, Jeff, non-Ferris Jeff, NFJ card. Um, I'll put one here and when we talked to it there, go visit him. He's, let's, uh, let's flood him. You guys have all been asking for him to put that channel out there. He finally did it. He's got one video up right now and I think he's gonna try to put up at least uh, one a day. It's gonna be pretty raw from the beginning because he's still learning and getting used to it. Show him some love, throw him a comment or two, give him a subscription, or subscribe I should say, and uh, let's see what kind of fun we can have with this. He's going to have a different thing. His thing is going to be, what happens to your scrap once it gets to the yard? So uh, maybe at some point he'll be able to start uh, videoing customers. I don't know if that's actually going to happen or not, but he's going to make something happen. So uh, go show him some love. So, hope you enjoyed our express run. A little bit different than normal, but uh, it's nice to mix things up like that. Nice quick day. So I'm not sure how long the video is. I don't think it's gonna be, it's gonna be a little bit shorter than normal, but uh, not too crazy short, because we actually had a pretty decent day for being out late. So, uh, make sure to smash that thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber, because we'd love to have you in here. We do this every weekday, as long as the weather's not junky. So, uh, it's not your stuff. But that doesn't mean you can't take someone else's trash and turn it into cash. So until tomorrow, be safe, be happy, and I'll see y'all then.